They wouldn't hear gunshots? All right. Well, if they aren't like Bulldogs, they're kind of... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow. But, oh, yeah, so these are my two French Bulldogs, Knox and Ariel. They're one of my favorite. She's, uh, she's nine, Knox is six. Yeah, Ariel's just a pregnant lady. But uh, affectionate nature. So Frenchies are known for their affectionate and loving demeanor. They thrive on human companionship and enjoy being close to their owners. And yeah, I've met a lot of other French Bulldogs and like if there's someone in the house they want to be next to them, they hate being alone. It's, it's actually sometimes kind of sucks, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, adaptability, because of their small size, French Bulldogs adapt well to various living situations. So like, Honestly, they're really good for like college students because I mean they can live in an apartment or a townhouse. They don't need like a big yard or anything since they're very small. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's she's crazy. But, uh, low maintenance, so. Their short coats require minimal grooming, making them suitable for busy individuals or families. So yeah, they shed, but like, you can't even like see the hair when they shed. It's not like a German Shepherd where like, it's like thick hair. Like, it's very, very thin. Uh, yeah, we had Santa come to my house. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so they're good temperament. Frenchies typically have friendly and sociable personalities. Uh, they are playful and enjoy engaging in fun activities with their owners. Like, well, Knox, he likes to chase a ball that's like an inflatable big ball. <laughs> he can't even pick it up. <laughs> so he just pushes it around. Uh, they get along well with children and other pets and strangers, making them great family pets. Knox is actually, like, I think it's called a service dog when they like go to like hospitals and nursing homes to visit like sick kids or the elderly. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I sometimes walk Knox around in the stroller because he very <laughs> does not like, like, well, both of them, like, they just need an hour of exercise. They'll, they'll be out for the rest of the day and all night. <laughs> so that's why they're good if you aren't, if you're in school a lot or something like that. Uh, well, they enjoy short walks and play sessions. They don't require extensive exercise, making them suitable for people with less active lifestyles. In this picture, I actually took him to a pet convention and I push him around in the stroller the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the unique appearance. So their distinctive bat-like ears, wrinkled faces, and compact sizes size appeal to many dog lovers. So, like when people ask him, like, well, like why does he look like that? Well, like <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> I mean, like, he's like not like a real dog, they're, like manufactured. They like don't, he's not a real breed of a dog. They like made him look like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I just say that I accidentally dropped him on his face one day. <laughs> That's why he has a. <laughs> um, oh, so, if you have watchdogs, they actually are, like, I can't do anything in my house without them barking like unless they see me obviously but like at night if I'm just like walking around I just hear barking in, in the upstairs room with my mom <laughs> and uh, despite their friendly nature Frenchies are alert and will bark to let their owners of any potential threats which I mean sometimes kind of true for the most part <laughs> when they can be a little yeah, but uh, to wrap things up, um, yeah, French Bulldogs are good for a big family, small family, or even just a single person living by themselves. And they will always be by your side no matter what. <laughs>